What if you could build your own full-stack, AI-powered social media platform from scratch? A platform where users can sign up, post, like, comment, follow, message, get notifications, and even have their content summarized and enhanced by AI. That's exactly what we're building in this series. I use ChatGPT to help architect and build this entire app and Cohere's free API to automatically summarize posts. That means you're not just learning how to code, you're learning how to leverage AI like a pro to save time, write better code, and create features that stand out. In this very first episode, we'll dive straight into building, starting with a rock-solid database design and a secure authentication system with sessions, setting the stage for everything else. If you want to level up from building simple projects to mastering real-world full-stack development with AI, you're in the right place. Smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell, and let's get started on building your own AI-powered social media app. So I started this project by telling ChatGPT that I wanted to build a full-stack social media app from scratch. I asked, what are the core pages and features I'd need? ChatGPT gave me a full breakdown, things like user authentication, a feed, comments, likes, notifications, messaging, and more. Once I saw the full scope, I decided this was going to be the perfect project for this series. Next, I told ChatGPT to guide me step-by-step -step through building this project, and I made it clear I'd be adding AI-powered features like post summaries and suggested hashtags later. With that in mind, we agreed to start where every real-world project starts, with the database design. ChatGPT helped me plan out all the tables I'd need. First, I made sure my Apache and MySQL services were running in XAMPP. Once everything was green, I went over to my browser and typed localhost slash myadmin to access my database management tool. Inside PHP my admin, I clicked the new button to create a fresh database, which I called social underscore media. You can name yours anything you like. Once the database was created, I clicked on the SQL tab. This is where you can write or paste SQL code to create tables. ChatGPT had already given me all the SQL I needed for each table, so I started copying and pasting them one at a time. For example, first I created the users table to store all user accounts. After running that code, I could see it appear in the left sidebar. Then I moved on to posts, comments, likes, and so on, executing each query step by step. After a few minutes, I had all the essential tables set up, users, posts, likes, comments, notifications, and messages. After setting up the database, I went back to ChatGPT and asked it to design a modern, beautiful sign-up page, something viewers would actually appreciate. Remember, in this tutorial, we're the instructor, and ChatGPT is like our coding assistant, making our job faster and easier. I opened my XAMPP directory, navigated to htdocs, and opened my project folder called Social Media in VS Code. Inside that folder, I created a new file called signup.php, pasted the code ChatGPT gave me, saved it, and tested it by visiting localhost slash social media slash signup.php in the browser. And just like that, our signup form was live. But of course, a static form isn't enough. We need it connected to our database. So I asked ChatGPT to write the PHP code for a secure signup system, plus a database connection script. It first gave me the database connection code, which I placed in a new file called db.php. I updated the database name to match mine, left the user as root, with no password, and saved it. Next, I took the signup logic it provided and added it to the top of my signup.php file. After saving, I tested the form by entering some details. The data saved successfully, but the success message was just echoed on a blank page. It didn't look great. Not a problem for now. The important thing is that our signup worked. I went back to my database and confirmed, there was our new user record. At this point, I wanted a cleaner way to display messages. So I told ChatGPT, instead of echoing the message, make it appear at the top of the form. It updated the code to dynamically show error and success messages right inside the form itself. I replaced my old code with this new version and tested again, first with the same user details, to check error handling. Perfect. I got a styled error message saying the email was already taken. Then I tried signing up with new details, and this time I got a nicely styled success message with a link to the login page. Smooth, functional, and much more professional looking. With the sign up page done and fully functional, 
it was time to build the login system. I went back to ChatGPT and asked it to design a simple but functional login page. It gave me a clean HTML form, so I created a new file called login.php, pasted the code, and saved it. Now, by default, the form's action was pointing to a separate file called login-handler.php, but I wanted everything on one page for simplicity. So I updated the action to point back to login.php, and then took the PHP login logic ChatGPT provided and pasted it right at the top of the file. I also updated the redirect path so that when a user successfully logs in, they're taken straight to index.php, the homepage we'll be building later. Next, I jumped back into signup.php and edited the success message link, changing the old .html extension to .php so that it correctly pointed to our new login.php file. With those changes saved, it was time to test it out. I signed up a test user, logged in with the correct details, and it redirected me perfectly to index.php. Then, I tried entering the wrong password, and just like that, I got a clean, styled error message. Everything was working exactly as expected. And that's a solid start to our full-stack AI-powered social media app. In this episode, we planned out the entire project, designed our database, and built a working sign-up and login system with secure authentication. That's the foundation every real-world social platform needs. But we're just getting started. In the next episode, we'll build out the user dashboard and main feed, start adding AI-powered features like automatic post summaries and hashtag suggestions, and begin styling everything to look like a modern social media platform. So if you found this helpful and you're serious about building a professional-grade, full-stack app, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join me for the next part of this series. We're about to take this project to a whole new level.